The avian world is a true marvel of nature. With their immense ability to adapt to conditions almost anywhere, they are one of the most abundant animals you will see. From green wet forests and dry deciduous forests to river banks, oceans and lakes and even tough environments like hill stations, cities and even the Antarctica. These birds can live almost anywhere in the world. The only place they probably cannot survive are the are deserts where no one can show enough resilience. Let's learn a few facts about birds. Some of these you may know, some of these you may not. Birds are the only animals to have feathers. Birds have interesting beaks and legs. Have a look at them. The basic main part of a bird is the beak, legs, body and wings. All birds, except a few, like this cassowary, have the ability to fly. With that in mind, let us proceed on to the types of birds. There are quite a few and this is a very interesting topic. The first type we are going to look at is house birds, which have the ability to live happily in the cities. These birds know how to navigate around the city and find food in abundance here in the cities. They include pigeons, quails, crows, menas, parakeets and sparrows. Then comes farm birds which includes hens, turkeys and domestic ducks. Next comes the flight flightless birds which includes ostriches, emus and cassowaries. These birds cannot fly but have other defenses like their sharp claws. Then comes seabirds which includes seagulls, herons, sanderlings, Penguins. Next comes bird of birds of prey. These is eat other animals and not uh, and are not herbivores. This includes eagles, kites, harriers, and owls and owlets. Next, we move on to the forest birds which can be found easily in the forest. Okay, now a disclaimer here. There are too many forest birds, birds that I have seen to actually mention here. But I'll try my best to mention as many as I can. These include Prinias, Munias, Shrikes, Babblers, bee eaters, hoopers, magpie robin, bulbuls, wagtails, swifts, jungle fowl, Indian roller, hornbills, pea fowl. And tree pies. Next, we move on to the water birds. This is again an extremely vast dust type of bird, and we're gonna see quite a lot. We start off with a small water bird that loves, loves to come fishing by the water. This is a kingfisher. First, we have the duck family, which includes coots, pochards, grebes shovelers, teal and spot-billed ducks. Then we have the waders like stilts, plovers, lapwings, 
turtles and water hens then there is the shark family which includes cormorants and darters next we come to the big and prominent water birds which are the most common that you would see these include jacana more hens pelicans ibis egret herons spoonbills flamingo and storks it's a very vast interesting isn't it tons and tons of birds we cannot even cover all of them in this video and more and more are being discovered day by day over 10000 birds have been recorded till date that we know of that we share this planet with together together to see such a marvel play out right before our eyes we just don't notice it you don't need to go to places like kabini or rangnath to, to to see all this just look around you around you so on your next morning walk just look and you are likely to find a crow pigeon or a crow or even a bulbul flying away so let us all work together to protect the birds highly adaptable they are who is to say that we might throw them away one day so let's protect them so what have we learned we have learned that birds are a fast group and they and their remarkable resilience is what is keeping them alive to this day in a rapidly organizing a rapid rapidly urbanizing world they are one of the fastest animals to keep up and from antarctica right to the cities like bengaluru here they are everywhere so see you in the next episode of abir and animals till then it's bye bye